Now let's introduce the operation instructions of Magic HDL. After we have completed the unpacking steps, our first step is to connect the power supply. Press and hold the power on button. Release the button after the tone sounds. Before we start printing, we need to do four steps. First step leveling. Step to loading and unloading consumables. Step 3 slice. Step 4 start print. Now let's start the first step, leveling. Before we deliver the goods, we have finished the basic leveling. However, the transportation process may lead to an even platform. Therefore, it is recommended that you check the leveling status. First click leveling, click next. The printer will return to zero home. After that, the printer will reach the first leveling point. We found the filler gauge in the kit. Find the 0.1 mm scale of the filler gauge. Put the filler gauge between our nozzle and the platform. If the spacing is less than 0.1 mm, the filler gauge will not be able to scratch. Therefore, the zero point position of the axis needs to be adjusted. If the distance between the nozzle and the platform is large, the z axis also needs to be adjusted. The adjustment position of the axis zero point is at the right rear of the cavity. There is a negative limit of the axis. Adjust the screw on the limit to adjust the zero point position of the axis. If we adjust the negative limit of the axis, we need to click leveling again. We also click next to reach the first leveling point. If the distance between the nozzle and the platform just crosses the 0.1 mm filler gauge, and there is a certain friction, which proves that the leveling of the first point has been completed, click Next to enter the second point. When the nozzle moves to the second point, We test the spacing in the same way. If we find the spacing inappropriate, we need to adjust the leveling nut so that the spacing is just 0.1 mm. The position of the leveling nut is directly below the platform where the nozzle is located at this time. Click Next to reach the third leveling point. Place the 0.1 mm filler gauge tool between the platform and the nozzle. Similarly, adjust the height of the platform by adjusting the leveling nut. After completing the third point, we continue to adjust the fourth point. It's exactly the same as the previous steps. When the four points are adjusted, we have completed the leveling step. If you don't move the printer on a large scale and you didn't change the nozzle, you don't need to level every time you print. It only needs to be leveled once.
If you find that the spacing changes, follow the above steps to level it again. After completing the first step, we enter the second step. That is, loading and unloading the filament. The first thing to do is to click preheating in the tool interface. When the printer is warming up, we need to judge whether the print head is ordinary temperature or high temperature. When shipping, we usually install high temperature head on the left head and common temperature head on the right head. We can also judge from the appearance of the nozzle. The high temperature nozzle is hexagonal. The anti-nozzle is conical. The main difference between high temperature nozzle and ordinary temperature nozzle is that it is used to print different materials. High temperature nozzles generally print materials with melting point higher than 300 degrees Celsius. Ordinary temperature nozzle is usually used to print materials with melting point below 300 degrees Celsius. Now we are demonstrating the loading and unloading of PLA materials. Therefore, we need to use the ordinary temperature print head on the right. First, we need to preheat. Click tool. Click preheat. The first line is the hot bed temperature. The second line is the temperature of the left print head. The third line is the temperature of the right print head. When we click on the box in the middle, the temperature number turns red. In the number column, the left side is the real-time temperature and the right side is the target temperature. If we need to make changes, you need to click the arrows on both sides. The left arrow is to reduce the target temperature. The arrow on the right is to increase the target temperature. Then wait for the temperature to rise automatically and stabilize. Find our standard PLA material. If you don't know the target temperature of the material, it is usually written in the label of the filament. You can also check the recommended parameters in our manual. Generally, we need to straighten the filament. You can refer to its original bending direction and straighten it in the opposite direction. We generally recommend straightening 10 cm. Find the pliers in the kit. Cut the filament into a sharp shape from both sides. Then we hang the filament on the material rack. Put the filament that has straightened the cutting tip into the sensor. Continuously push in the filament manually until it cannot be pushed. This proves that the filament has reached the gear position of the print head. Observe whether there are consumables above the gear. After the filament has been confirmed to reach, enter the filament loading and unloading interface. Click the extrude down button at the head too. It can be observed that the gear is rotating. See if the filament is engaged by the gear and enters. If the filament has been engaged and enters automatically, just wait for the wire from the nozzle. If the filament is not brought in by the gear, you manually push the filament from the material box. Now you can see that the filament has appeared in the nozzle. Now let's click stop. Filament loading has been completed. If you have finished printing, you need to unload the filament. It also needs to be heated first. Then manually pull the filament in the material box. Then click unload filament.
the gear will drive the filament out of the print head. We can quickly pull out the filament by hand. Here, the filament loading and unloading has been demonstrated. Now go to the third step, slice the three-dimensional file. We found the SD card in the kit. There are our slicing software, relevant parameters and example models. Please watch video, first use tutorial of IMI 3-dimensional expert slicing software. After the slicing operation in step 3 is completed, we will know the exact location of the print. We apply the glue stick to the corresponding position of the platform. The glue stick is in the toolkit. We need to paint horizontally and vertically. Each time the glue stick is applied, it can be printed once or twice times. Clean the platform with water after printing. Now let's go to step 4, print the file. Insert the SD card containing the printed file into the printer. Behind the left side of the device, SD card and card reader are in the kit. The back of the SD card is a metal contact surface. Face the metal contact surface toward the front of the printer. Then insert the SD card. Return to the main interface and click print. Find the G-code we saved in the print interface. Click to print the G-code file. If the prompt Z-axis has moved, print from current height appears, select No. Now enter the print interface. In this interface, you can pause, stop and set parameters. Now, since the hot bed temperature and the printing temperature have not reached the target temperature, it is necessary to wait for temperature rise. Finally, Wait for the printing to be completed and take out the model.